What's the update on our patient? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I've informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine. Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Who? What am I talking to? My name is Morgan. Morgan? Joke, operator. You've let this machine poison you. I wish you understood. I've bent the course of this entire station around what you wanted. I let you persuade me. And now you're gonna throw it all away? Just stop and think for one goddamn second, Morgan! The safety is off on his firearm. I think you've said enough. I would never harm you, Morgan. Never. This machine, it had your voice. I knew from the video you'd done something with operators, but this? It's not too late, you know. We can still salvage this. You change your mind once, you can change it again. I won't stop you if you decide to end it all. I told you I wouldn't. So, what's it gonna be? It's not too late. We can still turn this around. The prototype no-wave device will work, but you have to hurry. <sighs> Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate <sighs> Talos 1. I wish there was something I could have said to snap you out of this. Fugue. It's my fault. I gambled too much. And the worst part, it isn't losing the station or the tech. It's you. I lost my brother. Evacuate town. The shuttle is ready to go, Morgan. I'll wait a few minutes before detonation. But then, I'm gone. You're on your own after that. I keep having this dream. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, and I would help my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. 
Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37, but it left him alive. It could mean a low drive for retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experience? This is the world today. We spend years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. <laughs> 